I was outed at my job and I don't want to out my job because that would be rude to out my job even though they outed me. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I am doing another story time. I feel like I've had a lot of story times lately but things just keep happening and I feel like they're worthy enough to tell because I want to know if you guys can relate or if you've heard stories of this happening to other people. But before I jump into that I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has been subscribing to my channel and showing love across YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, even Snapchat. I really do appreciate it. I love advocating and spreading knowledge throughout the world for everybody to realize that trans people are just as worthy and just as valid as any other person. We're on our way to 500 subscribers, and I know that's not a lot, but it just really shows and proves that anyone can advocate, anybody can spread awareness, spread knowledge around the world so that people can get a better understanding of particular people. Um, with that being said, I am extremely excited because I have the next nine days off from work so I can focus on doing things I love like this and going to the gym and all the other things I don't really have a lot of time to do because my work-life balance is horrible. Anybody that knows me personally knows I work a lot and it sucks, but it is what it is. Gotta make money somehow. Speaking on work, that is exactly what today's topic is about. If you've already read the title, you know where this is going. I was outed at work and I've actually been outed at every single job I've worked because I post a lot and I don't hide it. I post my transition everywhere so eventually I expect everybody to end up finding out but until they do find out I do live as stealth. Uh, anyone that doesn't know what stealth means it just means that you live in the world as the person you identify as and you don't tell anybody what you were assigned at birth. You just live as male if you identify as male, or you live as female if you identify as female, or non-binary, so on and so forth. Before anybody knows, I always live stealth. I don't go out of my way to tell people I'm trans. I just live as me, and once they find out, then they find out. I do prefer to be stealth, and I do prefer people not knowing, but again, I risk and put myself out there. Um, because I would rather educate and advocate for my community because I want to normalize it. So with that being said, let's get into the video. I'm not going to use any names. I'm not going to tell you where I work. I don't want to out my job, but it's funny that I said out my job because I was outed at my job and I don't want to out my job because that would be rude to out my job even though they outed me. Anyway, let's get into the video. <laughs> oh, first, first, this video is actually going to kind of be all over the place. I wanted to show you my new tattoo. I love this piece. So pretty much anyone that knows the theater mask, um, one's a happy face, the other's a sad face. If you want a cliche meaning behind it, I guess it just... Most of my life has been hidden in sadness, but I always just wear a smile so that nobody asks questions, as many of us do. All right, now let's hop into the video. So, anyone that knows me personally, not even a lot of people that know me personally, but most people that know me know I have not legally changed my name and my gender mark still says female. So when people see my identification, they believe I am female until I tell them otherwise. So when I get hired at jobs, I always have to go through that awkward, confrontation with the people that are about to hire me because um the paperwork it'll say female and it'll say my legal name but then when I go in for an interview they see a male so I always have to awkwardly tell them my situation and yeah go from there so any job I work the higher-ups and the hiring process they all know that I'm transgender it's 
the employees and the like ground level workers who don't know that I'm trans. So I go into every job knowing that the higher ups at least know I'm trans, but everybody working on my level never knows I'm trans. So same thing happened with this job. Nobody knew I was trans besides the higher ups. I've been working there for about a year and a half. First seven months, nobody knew I was trans. Uh, about seven months in, I ended up telling a close coworker that I was trans, but I didn't tell him until I knew and got a chance to know his person that he would not judge me, he would not care, and he would still treat me as an equal. And as an equal, I mean as a cisgender male equal. Um, so the only person that knew by month seven was my coworker and the higher ups. So I thought. Two months ago, I had a kid come up to me. He's a kid that I started to become friends with as well, but I didn't talk to him enough to where I would end up telling him I was trans. But he was a cool, cool guy. He does my oil changes there. And one day we were talking about protein shakes and supplements, nothing that had to do with LGBTQ. So this was kind of already weird, but he randomly said, hey, I have a weird question. And anybody in the LGBTQ community knows that when someone has a weird question, they're gonna ask something they probably shouldn't ask. So I was like, okay, what's up? And he goes, do you know anybody that's trans? And me being the shy person I am, I become an open book and I say things that I don't actually wanna say, but when I'm shy, I kinda have what drunk people have, sober thoughts. So like when a drunk person says something, they're usually telling the truth. That's how I am when I'm shy. When I'm shy, I usually tell the truth. I don't lie, <laughs> I'm a horrible liar. So they asked me, um, do you know anybody that's trans? And I was like, yeah, I'm trans. And I was pretty much like, I'm trans. I've had surgery, I've had this. Just literally pouring out my life story, even though internally I didn't want to be saying any of this, but I was just so like under pressure and just so caught off guard by his question. I ended up just telling him, yeah, I'm trans. And I completely regretted saying that. So he was like, oh, you are? I knew he already knew, but he was playing it off as if he didn't know, which is why he had asked me, do you know anyone who's trans? He was asking me in a way to get me to come out and say that I was trans. So it wasn't clever and I knew where he was going with it, but. <laughs> <laughs> the next part though, this is the part that annoyed me. He was like, oh, you are? Well, I guess a lot of people were like wondering if you were, but I just wasn't sure. What? Pretty much he was saying that I was a discussion at some point in time throughout the job where people were unsure if I was trans or not. How this information came about, I don't know. My assumption is that somebody found my social media, saw some of the things I was posting, went to work and started talking about it and then people were confused and not knowing whether or not I was actually trans because I pass well. So... Yeah, I guess somebody had asked him to probably ask me. And so he thought it was okay to ask me. Um, yeah, that's really the bulk of the story. Long story short, I just kind of wanted to tell this story because I want to know if anyone else has gone through something like this or if you know anybody who has gone through something like this because it's just not appropriate to outwardly ask people if they're trans. You can put that person at risk. I work in a primarily male job. So it's to the point where it's so male that they have special parking for the few women workers that work there and they can park on the job site. Whereas us men have to park across the street in this sketchy alley. And that's pretty much how separated it is because there's so many men that work there and only a select few women. Um, it got to the point where I wanted to park with the women just because now everybody knew this information they shouldn't have known, but I didn't want to put myself in a position where I would be dysphoric because now I'm a man parking with the women and then even more people would ask questions. So because he didn't say it in a way where he was judgy, I don't mind staying at this job and I don't mind still parking with the men until I don't feel safe. At this point in time, I feel 100% safe. It was just more so annoying the way he thought 
he should bring it up and ask me. But yeah, as of now, I plan on staying at the job. I'm not gonna run away. I'm the one who put puts myself at risk every single day by sharing my story and bringing you guys into my personal life. So in a sense, it's my fault allowing so many people to, to know about me, but it's their fault for thinking that they have the right to ask me such outward questions. Yeah, let me know if you guys have ever been through anything like this. I'm very curious. And let me know if you've left a job because you didn't feel safe. I think the only time I wouldn't feel safe is if somebody told me like, that's wrong, don't do that. Like, you always be this way, just super aggressive with like their views. But so far I haven't had that, so I don't feel like I'm in harm's way. I guess the most awkward thing about it and this is how I feel anytime I'm outed, is when I have to use the public bathrooms with these people or the locker rooms, because now that they know this hidden information, it just makes the bathroom experience a lot more awkward because they're already questioning what I have between my legs and wondering, oh, he's going in the stall, he must be peeing. Even though, you know, men use a stall to take a dump, so there's that, but it would just make people question a lot when we're in the men's bathroom and I don't want that. So I guess that's the only way things get awkward or will be awkward. But as for now, I'm content and it is what it is. Thank you if you have watched this entire video. I know it was kind of short and all over the place, but I really wanted to talk about it and I wanted to fill you guys in with the beginning of my week and all these days off that I have. So. Now, knowing that, let me know if there's anything you want to hear or see. I want to post content that you guys are interested in, and I have no problem doing that. So, leave a comment down below, like the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and let, let your friends know if they are people who are super open-minded and would love to be educated on something that they're not maybe familiar with, because I would love to be one of those faces that somebody can go to. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.